Hello and welcome um, food lovers to my channel and to all my subscribers and viewers. Welcome back to another episode from my kitchen, Meals with Mills. Tonight's cooking, I will be making New Zealand flounder. Let's start cooking. These are the ingredients for our cooking. A large flounder, ground paprika, onion powder, black pepper, corn flour, onion, garlic, salted butter, all-purpose flour, hand dough bread grams, soy sauce, oil for frying, salt, and Maggi seasoning sauce. Add our onion powder, and then We'll go with the black pepper, paprika, and some salt. I forgot to add that to the list of our ingredients in the beginning, but we need to add salt. This is to coat our fish before we fry. Okay, we are pan frying our flounder, so this will coat the outside of the fish before we start frying. I'm gonna move on to my next step, um, and that is cutting our fish in half and just prepare the you know, the flavoring for the outside of the fish or the skin. All right, let's get on with the next step of our recipe. I'm going to cut my fish in, in half and I'm gonna cook them separately because I can't, like I said, I can't fit it in, in my frying pan. See this part of the fish inside? It's a roe, fish roe. These flounders have quite, you know, they have big size roe. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna add some of my Maggi seasoning sauce on the outside of the fish. And then I'm just gonna rub it in to let it stick on the skin. Some in here too. And then do the other side as well. Okay, so I'll leave that on the side just to marinate while I cut my onions and prepare the other ingredients. Next up, I'll chop our onions. Comment below if you, um, if you have a certain way of cooking this uh, particular fish. I know our Polynesian community love cooking flounder. This is one of our favorite um, fish to cook. It's the only fish um, that my husband um, likes to eat because there's not many bones in the middle or in the fillet area of the fish. So he loves eating the flounder. But yeah, chop the onions just like that. Next up, I'll prepare our garlic. I will leave my garlic just like that and then I'll mince it a bit later when I add it to the recipe or the rest of the cooking. I think that's all my preparation I need to do for cutting in terms of the onions. There's nothing much else to do, but um, get on with preparing the, the fish and, and start cooking it. I have cooked my taro. I'm gonna serve my flounder with taro and some veggies that I will cook later. But um, let's get on with cooking. <laughs> Our fish is, has been sitting on the side for a few minutes 
marinating in this Maggi seasoning sauce. That's why the outside of the fish is a little bit dark. It's from uh, our seasoning here. Um, I will go ahead and add some of our garlic inside the fish and some of the onions. Just push it in, just like that. Especially um, in the head part of the fish. The tail, it's okay, because I won't have a space to put in the rest of, oh, I think I do. Just a little area here. Push in all that onions. And more garlic. That's it. We will now slowly cover our fish with our breadcrumbs mix that we mix earlier on. It's a bit messy. Okay, let's go ahead and start cooking now. What is your favorite fish, everyone? What fish do you like to cook? Are you into eating fish? <clears throat> this is one of my favorite fish. The other one is um, mullet. Uh, what's the other one? I also like um, pomfret a lot. I like it because it's got a lot of meat. As long as it's nice and fresh. What else do I like? Oh, um, I also like to, um, there's little whiting, I think it is. I like to fry that very, very crispy and eat the bones and everything. Cause when you cook it, cause they're tiny fish. <clears throat> when you cook it, all the bones will become crunchy. And so you can just eat everything <laughs> um, with some, lime and a dipping sauce but yeah let me know what your favorite fish is i'd love to hear let's go ahead and add our oil to the frying pan okay the oil is ready now you can see the bubbles there Okay, let's go ahead and start cooking the tail first. So I added the onions and garlic inside the fish. So when I cook it, it gives it a nice flavor for the inside of the fish. Because it's a big fish, big size flounder. Um, I will cook it for at least five minutes for one side and then I'll flip it over to the other side and do the same, four to five minutes. I can now smell the nice aroma of the onions that I put it inside the fish. These ones here, see the onions sticking out? So I can smell the nice aroma of those onions. Okay, let's turn this over. And just cook that in for a little bit. Okay, so the tail is ready. We will put it aside, drain it on paper towels, and we'll keep going with the head. We've got to cook the head now. Okay. We'll go ahead with the head now and add it to the pan. Okay, the head is pretty much done. 
I will put it aside with the tail and I will make um, a gravy to go with our fish. A little olive oil and then I'll go ahead and add the rest of my onions. This is uh, an extra part of the recipe. The main one is me cooking the flounder, but this is what I'm gonna use to serve the flounder. This is what we always have our fry fish with. We love it so much with gravy, where we fry off the plain flour with onions and add a bit of soy sauce. So we call it sikiu. If we make you know, gravy with corned beef, we call it sikiu pisupo. I don't know where, it, you know, where the word sikiu come from, but I grew up learning to say sikiu pisupo, sikiu elengi, and sikiu fish. So, and, and what it is, is just normal gravy or um, roux, if that's the right um, term to use or word. I guess the word CQ comes from the English word stew, you know, um, the normal stew. So I guess that's where the Samoans come up with that word, you know, translating the word stew into skew. CQ bisupo, um, meaning stew, corned beef, tin fish. So that's what I'm making here. And I'm gonna add a dash of soy sauce. Add a little bit more, so about two tablespoons. And then I'll add my butter. So this is where my butter comes in. And then I'm adding a cup of water. So these are my extra ingredients I normally add to it. I haven't shown you before because it's not part of cooking the fish. Let me show you the proper. So that's the chicken flavor. And this is the beef flavor. So I've got them in my bowl here. I'm gonna add uh, another cup of hot water so it melts and then I'll add the rest in the gravy. As you can see, the gravy is a little bit thick, so I still need to add more water. Adding that to the gravy, and you can see the color of the gravy has changed now. It is now um, quite dark from that beef cube or beef stock I melt with hot water and it's giving a nice color to our gravy and flavor. I can just smell the, the nice stock flavor from those chicken and beef stock cubes. Add more. <coughs> our gravy is ready. I remember I made this gravy before, right at the beginning in one of my recipes. And this is like, a copycat version of the KFC gravy. It has the taste of the, what do you call it, KFC gravy. And the secret ingredients are those two cubes, the butter and onions, lots of onions. I know I used um, onion powder in my previous recipe. I'm not saying it is the actual KFC gravy, but you know, it tastes similar to it. Give it a go and see what you think. I feel it tastes similar to the KFC gravy. Okay, let's serve our fish plated and let's go ahead and, and taste our meal. I've got my taro heating up, so let's eat. <laughs> okay, our food lovers, we have come to the best, the very best part of cooking and that is our tasting, which is my favorite part of cooking, is tasting the food and enjoy it.
Okay. Have some of our gallo. Mmm. Look at that pie. The fish, the meat. Okay. So yummy. A bit in the gravy. Mmm. Okay, so I'm going to sit down and demolish this fish with my husband behind cameras. But um, that's how I cook flounder. Thank you for cooking with me. Thank you again to all my subscribers and viewers. Um, I appreciate you all for viewing my videos. Stay safe and take care. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.